Good morning, this is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. Number 20, read the Bible from cover to cover. Imagine opening your mailbox and finding a love letter from your soulmate. You recognize the handwriting at once and anxiously tear open the envelope. As you enter the front door, you toss the bills, the flyers, and all the junk mail aside before settling down on the couch to take in every word of what your true love has to say. But you notice the leather is rather long. The print is really small. And some of the words, well, to put it bluntly, are hard to understand. You know that every word has been chosen with care and written especially for you. But you decide to read the opening greeting and the last paragraph and call it quits. After all, you've gotten the gist of the letter, haven't you? You have more important things to do with your time, like check out the junk mail on the coffee table. If you haven't read the Bible from cover to cover, that's exactly what you have done with it. You have skimmed a love letter that has the power to change your life and your heart. Before you go to heaven, get to know the one who's waiting there for you. The Bible introduces you to God's character, how he works in the world, and his plan for your life here on earth and in heaven. Every word carries his fingerprint. Every verse reveals his truth. Get acquainted with each and every chapter of the Old and the New Testament. You don't have to read every book sequentially. Beginning with page one, mix it up. Many study Bibles contain a schedule that can help you read through the Bible in a year. A good study Bible will provide insight into why, when, by whom, and to whom the book has been written. However, the ultimate study aid is God's very own spirit. Ask God to help you understand and apply what you are reading. The better picture you have of who God is, the deeper your love for him will grow. My husband, as an example, began reading the Bible for the first time back in 1990 because someone challenged him to read the Bible for himself and see what it says. He read the Bible for himself and accepted Christ. He has read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation every year since. Yep, you got it. It's more than 20 times he's been through the whole Bible. I can't say the same for me, but it's on my list of things to do. So I invite you between now and when you get to heaven... Read the Bible from cover to cover. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a good and godly day.